Good morning, boss man and I are on our way down to pick up some excavators because today is the day we're going to be building a lake at the RV park. So we got to rent some excavators. I rented this semi, this low boy trailer, super nice trailer, 50 ton, triple axle from a neighbor. And I also rented that low boy trailer. We're using our max semi. So that costs a thousand dollars rent for the day. And then let's see what these excavators are. We're going to probably rent them for about a week. And here we are pulling in, turn on the Jake brake. Yes, sir. This is my neighbor semi. It's a 650 horsepower cat engine. This thing is a beast. It's got Jake brake cruise control. It's it's super nice. And then the low boy is crazy nice too. There we go. We're getting detached here. Boss man, how's it driving? It's driving pretty good. I think you have a lot more power than I do though. Yeah, we'll see. We got to decide. So we have a really heavy, strong excavator 750 Volvo. I think we might be renting. And then we're doing a long reach too. So the long reach won't weigh that much. But this trailer will be perfect for it and we'll put out the extension throw some boards on it we got nice chains here and binders so this trailer would be perfect for the long reach but i don't think boss man, we might have to honestly flip flop trailers we'll see we'll see so this is a new heavy equipment rental place that we're going to be renting from these are the two machines we told them to reserve for us this is a 750 volvo big big excavator very strong in case we run into any rock that's gonna be nice then we have a 250 case long reach really wide ditch and bucket so this will be like our finisher reaching out getting it really deep so boss man jump in one of these and start loading it up together they're gonna cost three grand to rent for the week so not cheap but i thought it was a pretty good deal especially this excavator is crazy big very expensive it's kind of cool how they keep them indoors too and we're gonna put some extension boards on pull those out slap the board on and now we got more room because this 750 sits way wider than the case so drop her down again boss man we'll get it loaded up all right sounds good all right, we're getting turned around here. Gonna back it on, then we'll swing around. Gonna throw some flags on the back of this thing. All right, yeah, oversized load. Put that up, perfect. Yeah, we need our markers. We have to have flags, and then, be yeah, because we put on these extensions, we're a lot wider, a lot heavier. Now we gotta put the oversized load on. Tell me when I'm good, big cat. Uh, should be good there. And there we go, rest it down. Should be good, we'll jump out and throw some chains on her. There we go, got the tracks chained on and then we'll hook back up here. We got the long reach loaded up. There's this little support that came with this trailer. So it was actually good that we picked this trailer to haul the long reach and yeah, everything's good. We got some straps on it because it does wiggle a little bit and we're heading out. Everything looks good. My trailer is quite a bit longer. It's a 28 foot well, I think. And then yeah, it's just a long trailer. So we gotta be careful, a lot of weight back there. Super wide XP. Oh, we we got deer running be careful oh geez they'll move out of the way just honk your horn they're going crazy get out of here boys all right swing wide again we're gonna be taking out some bushes all right this is why i got that oversized load tag on there and four this is pretty cool man i've never hauled anything this heavy just some grain to the elevator here we go we're crossing over the bridge this is pretty cool all right boss man watch your height here actually i'm slowing down now i'm gonna i'm gonna try and watch you man man i'm good with height true i got no issues well if that thing stuck up in the air i'm sure you could hit it oh a hundred and ten percent but yeah no we should be good with the way we currently have it perfect all right everything's going good my load staying secure same with boss man's we'll be there in about five minutes all right we're pulling in this is gonna be an interesting pull actually we gotta start swinging pretty wide here i'm gonna make like a three-point turn get a 90 degree with my trailer and semi crank it crank it crank it boss man you're probably not gonna have to go as extreme as i am because my trailer's way bigger but something like this you might have to do man uh boss man i just got a text it's from What's steve up? he's working a fire shift and he's got an emergency tow job he needs to do i gotta run off and do that oh geez okay yeah go do it i'll Dang be it. here i wanted to get started excavating boss man why don't you get these unloaded and by the time i'm back we should be ready to go okay sounds good all right we're pulling in steve said to take his new truck the flatbed is what's gonna work good for this job sounds like there's a car that like half flipped over he just sent me another updated text and it must be on city property or something so let's jump in the peterbilt and let's head down there see what's going on all right bananas rolling out it's a i got another text it's a six six wheel drive so it has six wheels that's all I kind of know. This is going to be an interesting towing operation, he texted me. And he's actually there at the, he's at the fire station. Oh, yep, there's his car. So he's working a shift at the fire station right now. That's why he couldn't do this. And let's see, the address is right here. Yep, look at that. What in tarnation? That is a six-wheel drive vehicle. That is crazy. I know it's not my job and it's the police's job, but I kind of want to figure out the backstory of this. 
We're gonna have to take the road up for now. This honestly, I just need to get it back on its wheels. Hopefully it doesn't flip, flip to its roof. Let's see here. How did this happen? It looks like they drove up on the rock here and once they got there, obviously they tipped over and now they're resting against a tree. So hopefully I'm gonna pull them down the hill. Hopefully they don't flip onto the roof anymore. Here we go, I got the cable attached. We're gonna go ahead and winch it and see what happens here. Come on, do not flip over to the roof. Hopefully it's center of gravity is on the wheels. Uh-oh, we're wait there we go, there we go. We might need to release the rope a little bit and drive forward, give us some more room. All right, so what I did now is the cable and the winch are totally released. So when I pull out here, there should be no, you know, it shouldn't be taunt or anything or pull it. And what's really nice is then we can come over here, reposition, start winching again and then it should flip over if it doesn't there's already a lot of damage done to it so it's not too big a deal here we go start winching nice there we go i just i hit the two speed button and it flipped right over all right now let's see if we can winch it and i might jump in there and try and turn the tires should start sliding but it, yeah there we go this is a very interesting vehicle it actually has its own winch and we'll finish winching it up here i'll jump in turn the wheels all right throw some straps on and we'll get it flattened out and head down the road Right, we're good to go. Just texted Steve. He sent me over 300 bucks. So it was a $600 job just because the extremeness of it in the city. It was on city ground. So pretty good deal. It looks like boss man's work and I see an excavator going up and down. Big piles of dirt. Boss man, you're getting good with that thing. Jeez, what a beast. Thank you. Yeah, man, check this place out. So here's my thought. I, I know we kind of had a bit of a different idea. We get a giant like, you know, pond around here, more like a lake. Okay. And then we have a bridge that goes to the restaurant. Like, who doesn't want Very to go cool. to a restaurant if there's a bridge to get there? And you it's could just, say you're eating on a restaurant in an, on an island in Wyoming. Literally. There's, the, where's another island? Like, the next one's so far away. Yeah. So this will be great. I'm trying to really, you know, preserve, like, the foundation of the restaurant. I don't want it to cave in. So yeah. we can't get too, too close. Absolutely. But. Looks like groundwater's filling in, too. This is very interesting. What would be interesting is, you know, we come back in a few hours, and this thing, you know, we're, we... We, need, we notice a rise in the water level and we don't have to wait for rain. But I was kind of thinking when looking at this, it reminds me, put some alligators in here, build a bridge. And then if people don't tip, oopsie, the bridge collapsed. No, I'm joking. I, I'm just joking. What? But it reminded no, me of a moat around the castle. Do that. Let's get working. I'll jump in the long reach. Looks like it's time for the long reach to do some work. Let's get it unloaded. Everything looks good. I have not ran a machine like this before. I've ran an excavator, not a long reach. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to, and I want to make sure I don't punch a hole into a restaurant or hit boss, man. That wouldn't be good. All right, this is pretty crazy, boss, man. At any point, if I hit my sick too far, I could, like, easily reach the restaurant and destroy it. Don't want to do that. Curl a big old bucket. I got a ditching bucket on, which is totally fine. This ground is really soft and easy. I don't need, like, teeth or anything. This holds quite a bit more, so... There we go. It looks good. Boss man's getting big heaves, and I'm kind of just figuring things out here. And I think, yep, that's my last scoop of dirt there. All right, let's back it out. Water is filling in too much. I don't know what I'm doing, and I think we got it pretty good. Some, some things we'll always keep improving on if things erode away or anything, but that looks amazing. All right, boss man, the water is pouring in from the sides. The ground is pretty wet. We did have a lot of rain this year. Yeah, and it's coming in as a pretty good color, too. I was expecting this to be completely dirty. Yeah, this looks amazing. But while I was doing that, boss man knocked out the bridge. This is great. Yeah, it should get the job done. I wish it, you know, looked a little bit nicer, but we'll try cleaning this thing up, getting this looking as good as possible. Yeah, but at least you can, you know, pull, you can back in like a pickup truck with food supplies and stuff. You don't have to walk it across like a bridge. So that'll be nice. A lot of people, and we want to make it really safe. I have this thought, right? What if we have some extra seating here? Because I expect us to get lots of business. Obviously, we do have this covered seating here, and then obviously people can eat inside. However, if we have something here right by the water, you could sit down. I think it, a lot of people would love that on like a nice day. We got the grass seeded, soil's starting to stabilize a little bit, and water keeps rising. So hopefully in a couple days here, it's going to be up, you know, where it's going to stabilize. We have an overflow for when we get a bunch of rain, that'll flow down to the river. And boss man, you did a good job back here. Yeah, we still got more work to do, but... Yeah, it's definitely getting there. I don't know about these tents. I thought it'd be cool to get these things and we just had them laying around, but I don't know. They kind of look weird. Yeah, a little bit. I like the, the kind of like pink and purple color there, but yeah, let's work on the fence. We can deal with that later. All right, let's get this thing installed. Here we go. Here's a tour of our restaurant. Boss man, I think we got the finishing touches for the day. 
first things first i put these lines out front looks awesome kind of makes it look a little more fancier more luxury those were not too cheap boss man paid for them here's the bridge coming across and hopefully here soon in a couple days the water is up and then first thing you do so we kind of blocked everything off so people can't like accidentally fall into the water if they don't want to you walk up the stairs You'll be greeted by a hostess. They'll kind of get you your seat, figure out what party size you have. That's boss man's idea. We'll get to that in a second. And then this is kind of the VIP outdoor seating. You got to pay a little extra for that. All right, boss man, what the heck is this? Well, we got a little kids area. I have a tree house built, a fake tree. Now, only thing is there's technically nothing stopping a kid from swinging right into the water because this fence is not going to be enough. First but, off, hey, that branch well, that you attach it to, that does not seem strong enough. Oh, it's it's okay. These are it's for kids. We need to call the DNR. We need to get the lake stocked with fish. And do we call it a lake? I uh, lake pond. We're, we're going to. It's gonna help with marketing. Sell a restaurant. A pond. What sounds better, a lake or a pond? Oh, a lake for okay. sure. We're calling it a lake then. Lakefront uh, RV park, right? How about, yeah, we need to figure out those names. Comment below, guys, what we should name all this stuff. We don't really have names, uh, but once we start, this restaurant gets going, it's going to get really popular. So good name helps. Yes, sir. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Smash the like button. The excavators, we didn't need them for a full week. Thank goodness. Might be able to get some money back there, and I'll see you all in the next one.